All right, so in this problem, I have 2 to the power of x plus 4 to the power of x is equal to 8 to the power of x. So I'm going to first start by rewriting 4 as 2 squared and 8 as 2 to the power of 3. So now I have 2 to the power of x plus 2 squared to the power of x is equal to 2 to the power of 3 to the power of x. Now I can actually switch the places of these two exponents. So now I get 2 to the power of x plus 2 to the power of x to the power of 2 is equal to 2 to the power of x to the power of 3. Now I can let 2 to the power of x equal to the variable u. So now if I replace 2 to the power of x with u, I get u plus u squared is equal to u to the power of 3. And now if I subtract u squared and u on both sides, I get u to the power of 3 minus u squared minus u is equal to 0. Now I'm going to factor out u, so I get u times u squared minus u minus 1 is equal to 0, and this gives me two equations. I get u is equal to 0, and I get u squared minus u minus 1 is equal to 0. So as you see, we already have one solution of u. So now to solve this, I'm going to use the quadratic formula, negative b plus or minus the square root of b squared minus 4ac all over 2a. So in this case, a is 1, b is negative 1, and c is negative 1. So I have u is equal to negative of negative 1 plus or minus the square root of negative 1 squared minus 4 times 1 times negative 1 all over 2 times 1. And this is equal to 1 plus or minus the square root of 1 minus, or sorry, plus 4 over 2. And this is equal to 1 plus or minus the square root of 5 over 2. So these are two more solutions. So now remember how we let 2 to the power of x equal to u. So let's first start with u equaling 0. So we have 2 to the power of x equals 0. And there's actually no solution to this because you can't take the power of a number and make it equal 0. So now we have u is equal to 1 minus the square root of 5 over 2. And 1 minus the square root of 5, that's going to be a negative number. And negative number divided by 2 is a negative number. And you can't take the power of a positive number and make it a negative number. So this is wrong as well. So finally, I have u is equal to 1 plus the square root of 5 over 2. And for this, I have 2 to the power of x is equal to 1 plus the square root of 5 over 2. I can take the log on both sides. So I get log 2 to the power of x is equal to 1 plus the square root of 5 over 2. So I can move this to the front, and I get x times log 2 is equal to 1 plus the square root of 5 over 2. So if I divide both sides by log 2, these two cancel out, and I get x is equal to 1 plus the square root of 5 over 2 log 2. Alright, so in this problem, I have 2 to the power of x minus 2 to the power of y is equal to 2016. So, just at first glance from this problem, I can already tell that x is greater than y because we have 2 to the power of x minus 2 to the power of y equals 2016. And if x were less than y, then this would result in a negative number. But it, because it results in a positive number, we know that x is going to be greater than y. So this means that we can say that x is equal to y plus some constant k. So now, if I replace x with y plus k, I get 2 to the power of y plus k minus 2 to the power of y is equal to 2016. Now, if I have something in the form a to the power of m plus n, this is equal to a to the power of m times a to the power of n. So 2 to the power of y plus k, that's going to equal 2 to the power of y times 2 to the power of k. Now I have this minus 2 to the power of y is equal to 2016. Now, I can factor out 2 to the power of y. So I have 2 to the power of y times 2 to the power of k minus 1 is equal to 2016. Now, I can rewrite 2016 as 32 times 63. 
And now notice that I have an even number times an odd number. And over here, I have an even number, 2 to the power of any number is even, and I have an odd number, 2 to the power of any number is even, and an even number minus 1 is going to be an odd number. So, meaning these two are equal to each other, and these two are equal to each other. So I have 2 to the power of y is equal to 32, and 2 to the power of k minus 1 is equal to 64. Or sorry. 2 to the power of k minus 1 is equal to 63. So let's first start with 2 to the power of y equals 32. So we have 2 to the power of y is equal to 32, and 32, this is the same thing as 2 to the power of 5. So I have 2 to the power of y is equal to 2 to the power of 5, meaning y is equal to 5. Now, for 2 to the power of k minus 1 equals 63, I'm going to first start by adding 1 on both sides, so these two cancel out. So now I have 2 to the power of k is equal to 64. 64, that's the same thing as 2 to the power of 6, meaning k is equal to 6. Now remember, x is equal to y plus k, so x is equal to 5 plus 6, meaning x equals 11. All right, so in this problem, I have 4 to the power of x plus 4 to the power of x plus 4 to the power of x plus 4 to the power of x is equal to 512. So to solve this problem, I'm going to first start by factoring out 4 to the power of x. So now I have 4 to the power of x times 1 plus 1 plus 1 plus 1 is equal to 512. Now I'm going to rewrite 1 plus 1 plus 1 as 4. So now I have 4 to the power of x times 4 is equal to 512. Now I'm going to divide both sides by 4. So then these two cancel out. And now I get 4 to the power of x is equal to 512. Actually, instead of doing that, I'm actually going to multiply these two. So if I have something in the form a to the power of m times a to the power of n, this is equal to a to the power of m plus n. So 4 to the power of x times 4 to the power of 1, that's going to equal 4 to the power of x plus 1, which is equal to 512. So now I'm going to rewrite 512 as 2 to the power of 9. So I have 4 to the power of x plus 1 is equal to 2 to the power of 9. And 4 here, I can rewrite as 2 squared. So now I have 2 squared to the power of x plus 1 is equal to 2 to the power of 9. Now if I have something in form a to the power of m to the power of n, this is equal to a to the power of m times n. So 2 to the power of 2 to the power of x plus 1, that's going to equal 2 to the power of 2 times x plus 1, which is equal to 2 to the power of 9. Now if I distribute the 2, I get 2 to the power of 2x plus 2 is equal to 2 to the power of 9. And if I have something in the form a to the power of m is equal to a to the power of n, this means that m is equal to n. So in this case, m is 2x plus 2, and n is 9. So now I have 2x plus 2 is equal to 9. So to solve this, I can subtract 2 on both sides. These two cancel out. So I get 2 equal, x equals 7. And if I divide both sides by 2, I get x is equal to 7 over 2. So now to check, I have 4 to the power of x plus 4 to the power of x plus 4 to the power of x plus 4 to the power of x is equal to 512. So 4 to the power of 7 over 2, this is 4 to the power of 7, the square root of 4 to the power of 7. So if I plug in this to a calculator, I get that the square root of 4 to the power of 7 is 128. So I have 128 plus 128 plus 128 plus 128, which is equal to 512. So this is right.